Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll guide you step by step on how to configure transparent multiple VLAN in BDCOM GPON OLT. For this demonstration, I have BDCOM GPON OLT model GP3600-08. So without further ado, let's get started. I have here a topology. For this demonstration, I have one microtech, one OLT, and two ONU with different brands. One ONU is China Mobile, and the other is Huawei. In the microtech side, I'm already done with the basic configuration, VLAN, and bridge configuration. It has already an, an internet as well. OLT is connected to SFP plus one of the microdate. What we want to accomplish, number one is the two in use will be, will be detected in the OLT. And the VLANs will be detected as well in the ONU side. We will configure the ONU to dial PPPoE using the VLAN 101. Number two, is that the two ONUs will have an internet after it dial the PVPoE. Let's now do the configuration. The laptop must be connected first in the management port, this one, of the OLT. Set the IP address of the computer to be in the 192.168 that zero that zero slash twenty four network because the default management IP of the OLT is one into one six eight dot zero dot one. So in this case, I assign my computer to have an IP address of one into that one six eight dot zero dot eighty nine. Go now to the browser and type the management. Default management IP address of the OLT, 192.168.0.1. For the username and password, the default is admin. Both in the username and password. Click sign in. Change the language to English. In the basic config, we will set first the hostname. Basic config, then hostname. I will name this one Jot OLT. Click apply. Then go next to advanced config, then port config. By default, all the interfaces are down. Enable all the interfaces. Then click, up, click Apply. Go next to VLAN Config. Then VLAN Batch Config. In the VLAN Add, we will add here VLAN 1000. 101 and 102. Click apply. Go next to VLAN config. As what you can see here, the VLANs are added. Set the set all the GPON, GPON ports of the VLANs to be trunk. So click edit. I'll click edit in 101. Then set all the GPON ports to be trunk. Then click apply. Go 
let's check in each of the VLAN if all the Gibbon ports are trunk. So click edit. So as you can see, all the Gibbon ports is now trunk. Go back. And in, in VLAN 1000, it's already trunk as well. We will now go to ONU config profile. Then ONU VLAN config. Click new. I will name this one PPPOE. VLAN mode is tag. Then port PVID is 101. Click apply. I will, add, I will add another one. Click new. I will name this one hotspot. VLAN mode tag. Port PVID 102. Apply. Go next to Gpon interface config. Let's check in in the ONU discovery mode. Make sure that the discovery mode is auto. We will go also here in on ONU authentication config. Make sure that all the Gpon boards has an authentication method of, method of disable. Click apply. We will now save the configuration. Click save all. To check if the two ONUs, this one, are detected in the OLD, just go to device status, then ONU interface state. As what you can see, it's detected. You can see the details of the menu. Click detail. This one is Huawei 5B Vibe. And this menu is China Mobile. If you want to check the receive power of the ONU, just go here in ONU Optic Module Info. The receive power is negative 14. I will connect my computer to the China, China Mobile ONU first. Let's check if this way, you successfully dial the PPPOE using the VLAN 101. I will change the IP address of my laptop to DHCP. I will try to speed test. As what you can see, I have an internet. The PPOE user of this ONU has a bandwidth limit of 30 Mbps. I will access the ONU.
let's go here in one info. As what you can see, this oil you successfully dial. I will transfer next to the other oil. Let's access the OINU. As what you can see, this oil you successfully dial as well. Let's try to do speed test. Alright, that's what you can see. This ONU also has an internet. This is it, guys, on how to configure transparent multiple VLAN in BDCOM GPON OLT. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.